Hi everyone, I'm doing another video today to show you how to make some um, baby hair bows but these aren't with clips or bobbles, uh, these are with velcro uh, which stick in uh, very fine hair very well and um, they're good for pets if you have um, if you like to put hair bows in your dogs um, or if you've got very fine hair or if you've got a baby with not very much hair uh, these are perfect so let's get to it. What we have here are some lengths of ribbon, lots of different colours. Uh, any colour you like, you can use pattern ribbon, anything. It's about four and a half inches long. So I think I'll do one of these ones today. So first of all, we heat, heat seal the end of the ribbon so it doesn't fray like these ones are. And then we fold it in half and pinch along the crease and then we're going to put some super glue or some hot glue down there. Let's get a glue gun, put some hot glue down there and then we fold it into the glue, press it down. The excess bits of glue off and then what we're going to do is put a little pinch of glue there, a little tiny little dab and fold it in half, pinch it just at the bottom there where we've glued and then we're going to put a little bit of glue there and fold it over and then put a little bit of glue on that side don't need very much and fold it over then we get these little bow ties like this I've got some made up in lots of different colours and what we're going to do with these is put some ribbon around the middle, strip of velcro on the back and they're going to make cute little bows for babies. So what we're going to need is some 9 or 10 mil gross grain ribbon, heat seal the end again and then I get the mint colour, it matches, put a little bit of glue on the back there Press on the ribbon, wrap it around and then cut that off there, heat seal the end of the ribbon again and then what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of glue on there and wrap it over. So you have your bow like this. Now what you want to get is some Velcro. So I just got this Velcro from my local pound shop. There's two sides of very sticky Velcro. One's the furry side, as you can see, and one is the rough plastic side. And they stick together really well, but they are actually quite soft. So we cut some of that off. Now what I like to do is I will cut a piece off from the soft side. Like that. Just pop these away. Give me some more space and a piece off from the rough side I make this look hard and it really isn't ok, cut it the same size and just pop that to one side for a minute right, so I get the piece of velcro and it has uh, an edge on either side 
where you can sew it onto things uh, if you prefer. So that's going to take up some room in the hair clip um, so it's not sticky so we don't need that bit. So I just chop that bit off and that bit. And then what I do, this is about an inch big I think, yep, is I then cut that in half lengthways and there you have enough for two bows. So we'll take, stick that together. We take this, you've got your two pieces, make sure it's nice and sticky and then you get your ribbon again. what you do is you put some glue along here not too much that it's going to sleep out the sides but enough to stick the ribbon on and you just place that on there push it down so it's stuck and that is right on the edge as well and then we just wrap it round And we'll cut to the size we want and heat seal the end. And then we'll put some glue on this bit. Oh, don't do that. And then fold that over like that and stick it on. Off your table. Right, so when that is done and it's all stuck, you can do it a little bit neater than I did, but I burnt my finger then. And then you can open it up and you have got a lined baby clip in effect. And if the velcro is sticking out over the edge, you can just cut that edge off. make it as neat as possible. Obviously if you are going to use these in your pet's hair um, or on babies you need to make sure they're supervised with them at all times. So then what we're going to do, I like to do it so it opens that way as if you're putting a clip in that way. Put some hot glue along this side, careful not to burn your fingers. And then just place your clip on top like that. Push it down and make sure it's stuck. And there you have a small, very simple little bow for babies or pets, people with very fine hair, lined with Velcro. And then the idea is you just put the hair through it, you close it over and press and it will hold in there all day. And they are as light as a feather. So babies usually can't feel that they've got them in the hair. So I have been told that they're not pulling at them. Um, pets don't know they're there so they don't fuss with them. And because they're so light they don't pull down the hair like clips do. Um, these ones I've made a tiny boutique bow. It's sort of an inch big. It's, that one's lined with a clip but you can put velcro on the back of that and it looks super cute. And this one as well is sort of the pinwheel style with the tux bow on top, double tux bow. Uh, you can also do those styles on baby clips. I'll do one more. Uh, so I'll take a ready made one. Some pink this time. See if I don't burn myself. So put a little dot of glue on there. I've got literally hundreds of these to make, but they're so popular. They look super, super cute, and they'll go really well 
at um, galas and summer fairs where they're having dog shows. I have people who come and buy them for the pets. But like I say, they must be supervised with them. Don't ever leave your pets unsupervised with these in your hair. Because if they do fall out and they get to eat them, I mean, dogs eat all sorts of things, don't they? But I wouldn't like to say what would happen if they ate, ate this. Uh, so do it under your own cautions, obviously. Right, so put some glue on there. Now when I put glue on there, it's sort of an I or a H shape. I put a lengthways bit, a bit down the middle and another bit. That's just so that it is glued super well onto the end. Because obviously as you are tearing them apart all the time, you don't want it to come off. Let's make sure that's stuck on. I'm sorry if you can hear my breathing at the minute guys I am absolutely full of cold <clears throat> and I didn't drop that one and burn myself that's good then again stick it on there push it all the way along some glue along the edge there. And there you go. So they're super simple but super cute and very child friendly. So I hope that's helped with um, some of your makes possibly this summer um, and child friendly hopefully. And if there's any other type of video uh, or tutorial you'd like me to do, just mention in the comments. No, I don't give Louise away for free. I do sell them. I have my own business, Ellie Pops Bespoke Bows. You can find me on Facebook or Instagram. I do sell these in little sets. Um, I hope they're as popular for you as they are for me. I'll carry on with this big tub full of bows that I have to make now. Um, and please leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, subscribe um, if you'd like to and I'll do some more tut tutorials soon. Thank you very much for watching.